Welcome to Women and in Infants Hospital. This video will cover the induction of labor process. When you arrive for your induction, please have your partner drop you off at the hospital's front entrance. They can then make a right-hand turn out of the hospital circle and another right turn at the next stop sign to locate our Plain Street parking lot. Your partner can then walk back around to meet you at the main entrance. We ask that you bring what you need for labor with you, but your car seat can stay in the car until it's time for your discharge. When you arrive, your partner will need a photo ID to check in at the front desk. You will be directed to patient registration where you will need your own photo ID and insurance card. Once you're registered, if your journey begins directly in the labor room, a nurse will arrive to escort you there. If your journey begins with cervical ripening on the antenatal care unit, you'll be directed to our fourth floor in the South Pavilion. Once you've arrived to the fourth floor, a nurse or secretary at the ACU nurse's desk will accept your paperwork and escort you to your room. You'll be asked to change into a hospital gown, answer some admitting questions with nursing staff and will then begin an IV line. We'll also need to gather some blood work and perform a COVID test. We'll begin fetal monitoring and if your provider has ordered a cervical balloon, you'll be brought to an exam room for that procedure. Once completed, you'll return to your room and continue with fetal monitoring and cervical ripening. Your nursing team will keep you informed throughout the entire process. If you'd like to learn more about cervical ripening, scan the QR code on your screen. Cervical ripening can often take one to three days before you advance to the labor room. Once your cervix is ripe and ready for Pitocin, the labor team will be notified. You can still eat and drink while on ACU, but food is not permitted in the labor room. Your labor nurse will settle you into your new room and ensure that you're educated about the process, including discussing an epidural if you wish. You'll remain in the labor room through delivery and recovery. Once your baby has arrived, you'll transition to the mother baby unit where nurses are trained to give you and your baby the care you need and ample education to ensure that you feel prepared for discharge. We look forward to being part of your birthing journey and are here for you every step of the way.